Bonjour et bienvenue chez French Sounds. Welcome to French Sounds. In this video, I'm replying to one of my YouTube subscribers who requested help with spelling sound correlations for vowels that are spelled with accents. The most common vowel that is accented is the E. When the E has an accent aigu, it is pronounced E. Répétez s'il vous plaît. E T. Parler. Réseau. Cédille. But when an E has an accent grave or an accent circonflexe, like the little hat, it's pronounced E. Répétez s'il vous plaît. Père. Grand-mère. Il reflète. Je mène. Rêve. Fête. Now let's move on to the A. The A can have an accent grave in words such as voila and it's pronounced as though it had no accent. Just A, ah, the front A. Now, sometimes the A can have an accent circonflexe. And traditionally, that A with accent circonflexe was pronounced as a back A, ah, where the tongue is down and back, ah, as opposed to ah, with the tongue more forward. Many speakers of contemporary French do not use the back A anymore. However, we'll do examples of each. Lan, lan. Jeat, jeat. Let's move on now to an I with an accent circonflexe, as in the word dîner. It's pronounced exactly as an I without an accent circonflexe. However, if you put an accent circonflexe on an O, you must pronounce it as a closed O sound, not an open A sound. So you would have, for example, bientôt, côte, hôtel, If a U has an accent circonflexe, it's pronounced like a normal U. For example, you have du, the past participle of devoir. Il a dû l'acheter. He must have bought it. Moving on to the tréma. The tréma are the two dots on top of a vowel. They are usually found when two vowels come together and you need to pronounce each vowel separately. The tréma is usually found on the second one of those vowels, of the two vowels. Répétez s'il vous plaît. Joël. Naïf. Ambiguity. But be careful because sometimes you have a situation such as the feminine adjective ambigu, which ends in ue with a tréma on the e, and it's not pronounced at all. Just an exception. And finally, we come to the cedilla, la cédille. The cedilla is found under a C when the C is followed by A, O, or U, and you need to pronounce the C as an S sound. If the C is followed by 
E or I, it's automatically pronounced S. But in front of A, O, or U, it would normally be K. To get the S sound in front of those three vowels, you need the cedilla. Répétez s'il vous plaît. Français. Garçon. Reçu. That's all for today. Merci et à bientôt. Au revoir.